All right, guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. I'm excited to announce that I partnered up with Acuity Instruments this week. They have sent me out the shifter stage two kit for the FL5, and of course, the Integra Type R, and the 11th gen Honda Civic with a manual transmission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in a two-part vlog. Uh, I'm gonna do the shift linkage cables first, which is this guy here. Right, it is part 1881, and it fits all compatible with all these in the back here. I'll put in the link in the description below. I decided I'm gonna do it in two parts. Let's get right into it, and let's change the uh, shift linkage bushing in the FL5. Let's go. All right, you guys, so here's the plan for the vlog. So I'm gonna do it in two stages. I'm gonna go ahead and change out the shift linkage bushing first, and then I'm gonna bang out a couple of gears to see how it feels. Because I know you can get these bushings on their own, or pretty much, I think you can get the whole kit separately. Some of you guys already have this already, so that's why I'm just gonna change these out first, see how it feels, and then go into the interior and change out the other bushings and stuff like that. So I think that's a good plan. I'm gonna bang out a couple of gears first and uh, give you guys the feedback. Here's the uh, before and after. There's a little bit of movement. Hopefully you guys can see it on the camera. All right, so here are the factory OEM rubber bushings held on by pretty much some plastic clips. I mean, yeah, plastic clips here and then a cotter pin. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. That's pretty much it. Very rubbery, kind of soft to the feel. You could put some grease on there just so that it uh, slips around. It doesn't make no noise. Yeah, that's it. And let's uh, open up the Acuity box. Got your sticker, your cotter pin, and retaining clips. And of course, the most important pieces here. And it's just, it's solid. Very nice, I like it. I like it how uh, Acuity loves to put all the instructions or like torque spec, but not this one, but anyway, tells you what side is down. So you can't really screw up. I love it when they do that. Okay, let's go, let's go check this back in. All right guys, so it's all in. I'm just gonna show you. All right, so lateral movement, side to side. And then first thing I know is uh, you can actually you can hear the sh in the, uh. all right first thing I can tell you guys like. I can actually hear it like the you can hear the because it's not it's all the bushings right so you can actually hear it now anyways let's go oh, wrong gear okay let's go try this out so we're gonna go and bang off a few gears here and yeah you can tell you, it, it's noticeable for sure it's not it's something that's not very uh it's it's subtle, but very noticeable. I shifted a few times and 
you guys, I'm telling it's, ah, it's pretty good. Pretty good for just, you know, bushings for the cables. This is like, there's some good things coming. Good things coming. I can't wait to like uh, put the rest in on the, the actual like shifter itself. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down the sub 60 and I think I'm gonna ask Lee, cause he's never, uh, he has an FK8. Well, has one before. And I don't know if they did all the bushing or anything, any upgrades to the shifter itself. So I'm gonna see if you can take it for a ride and see his reaction, you guys. So I'll see you guys down there, okay? All right, guys, so change of plans. So I misread the day and there was no car meet at sub 60 today. So I called up Lee and I, uh, I went to his house. I've told the, uh, the audience that you've driven the FK8. Yeah, I have two FK8 oh, before. I didn't tell them that you made one fly into the air. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're very aware how good Honda's shift is, mm -hmm. or uh, gears, right? Yeah, yeah. And I know Maz is even good too, because I did some research. Yeah. I heard the Miata is like really, really good. Miata transmission is so you, good. So yeah. you know, you have a comparison, you know what's good and what's, yep. and even Porsches, right? Yeah. So to me, I think the benchmark is Porsche, but on, Online S2K and Miata is like top yeah. top ten, yeah. top ten. Yeah, pretty notchy, so pretty good. Yeah, so he knows what he's looking for. So I'm hoping the changes in the um, cables now will surprise him. So let's uh, let's get Lee to drive the car. Let's get his reaction. Okay, guys. So we got Mr. Lee here. You've seen him a few times in my vlog. You guys from from Japan. So Lee knows what he's talking about. He's got his proper shoes on for driving. He switched them out of the the sandals this is your first time driving ff5a eh? yes so. um other than bring the car from back of the shop to, to, to the front the, uh, from the shop to the back yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> around the, actual on the road first around time. the block right okay yes so this is like a really good comparison you guys so um again he, he knows his fl uh fk8s yeah. he's he's had two of them he flown one <laughs> into the bushes <laughs> yeah I, I tracked both i think yeah i tracked yeah. the both yeah. And then one was little uh And excited. on the on your FK, did you ever change anything to the shifters or the linkages or anything? Uh, just so that we know? No, no. Nothing, uh, right? because my I had a twenty nineteen. Yeah. Uh so it was so twenty twenty they updated the shifter assembly. Yeah. They they updated but I what I had is like the the before one. So it yeah, was the, uh, oh okay. Yeah. So this is a big improvement. Yeah. So let's see. Okay. Let's uh okay. I'm excited. I'm excited Start to the car. First impression. Seats really good. <laughs> Seats really good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free. Whatever you want to do. Ooh. <laughs> It right oh, away. I like it. <laughs> okay, um, it's not like um, um, Honda's uh, other shifter kit. Like, it's just pure short. Yeah. This is very uh, how to describe it. It's direct, eh? It's like, very direct and yeah. very clear. Like you know, you know what gear you're gonna go into. Yeah. And then when you in it. It's in it, like yeah. it feels very, very direct. Wow, very nice. Good. How's it compared to the? Because I've never driven a Miata. I've never driven a Miata. Uh, Miata is different. Miata is a bit of a more mechanical. So okay. you hear the gear, like you you hear the metal to metal. Yeah. Kind of. That, that's the first thing I noticed when I hopped in. Yeah. And I was moving the gears a couple of times before the car started. Yeah. You can hear it because it's uh, solid bushings instead okay. of rubber. Yeah. That's the first thing I knew. I heard it on the front of the where the engine is. Yeah. You can hear it. So I was like, oh, it's, it's pretty solid. But I was told that uh, on the Miata, the, 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 it's, the, it's, it's not like a wire, right? It's like right on the transmission. Isn't it's it? right on the that's transmission. That's why it's so, yes. That's why it's that good. Yes. That's what I was told. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's uh, directly connect to the transmission. Yeah. And then it basically uh, people upgraded the like um, brown, bronze bushing. 
yeah. it's like metal bushing, so yeah. there's no like shaft play left and right. Yeah, like yeah. That. So that's the why this one you can feel a little because it's still on a cable. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> so that's uh, so obviously that's our main goal, you guys, is to have that more mechanical feel to get rid of all the play and all the rubbery bushing feel, and that's the first step. So. Acuity sent me out this uh, stage two package. What I did Lee was I only changed the two on the on the cables, the two bushings. Okay. Yeah. Just so that we know there's a difference before I change up everything. Before yeah. I there's another part of this kit that I'm gonna install next week. Okay. So maybe so it's down here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the only nice. thing I did was just the bushings on the cable for now. So now at least now you know for your own your customers too. Yeah. That there's a difference. Yeah. So I want to see uh, after you change this. Yeah. I want to do a test drive. Yeah. Too. So I was gonna say after I install it, you guys, we're gonna do uh, in part two. We're gonna get lead again to drive with uh, everything else changed out. So. Let's okay. Get, right? Let's, get Let's it, stay right? tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so FKA uh, feels a little bit more rubbery, I would say. Yeah. Um, it's good shift from Honda. Like, yeah, I think Honda the best is still S2K. Like, very, very. It feels like that Miata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I, that's what Victor said too. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, wow, this this is good. This, this is, is good. good, eh? It feel, but honestly, feel lighter too. Do you feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to FK, because FK is a little bit heavier in my oh, okay in my experience. I noticed when I was changing it on the uh, the the. Uh, where the cable connects to, there's a big weight thing looking there. Do you think that has something to do with it? Maybe. You can't see it unless you take the. Is uh, it rubber? No, it's so solid, like a solid steel. Oh wow, really? And I think okay. it, it looks like a weight. So if you guys know what that is, because when you remove the charge pipe, and right next to the the linkage is like a big steel piece on the actual where the gear engages. So if you guys know what that is, let me know because I'm thinking it's a counterweight. And I think probably answers to what Lee's saying where this feels like a little lighter. Maybe it's because that weight is there to counter that. that uh, probably, yeah. 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 It's a good thing that you mentioned that because eh? that's why I was wondering what that thing was. It's yeah. uh, it's heavy and big, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It looks, it looks yeah, that's big. Yeah. Wow, this car. I like it. Yeah. I'm glad I'm like, the, this is like the first time you've like actually driven it on the street. It feels good. Eh? It feels good. Can I go a little longer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want, I want to see the exhaust. Mm. Later, you can, you can, you can try my Miata too. It's yeah. in the garage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the bronze bushing, like a, yeah. you know, the bushing upgrade kit. Yeah, and yeah. You okay. know what we'll do? We'll drive Lee's car next week after he drives this one. When once everything is the stage two shifter is done, and we'll let him drive that, and then we'll go back to back with the Miata. That's good. a good comparison, right? Cause, good. Yeah, because that one is actually the benchmark. That in the S two K. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, my car. You yeah. want to drive my car? My, no engine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh forgot. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These cars all far enough. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So it's the next morning. I'm just heading to work, and I'm just uh, I'm just gonna say it's blows my mind you guys how at first my initial impressions are like how could or my initial thoughts are like how good can two little bushings it's honest shifters are that good itself already right out of the get-go and it's that good you guys so all I'm saying is if you have a friend that already has the QD shifter bushings already in there give it a shot because just like Lee says hard to explain it just it's in the feel and you can't just relate that into video it just yeah it's it's i was skeptical but it's blow my mind yes blows my mind so i'm excited for next week i'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of the shares the cuties stage two shifter kit it's going to be that good i'm really that i'm really excited you guys hope you guys can join me next week and we'll see you guys in next week's vlog see ya Oh man, it's it's that good. Whoa.